Hey fellow garage golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. Today we're going to be meeting with Jen Saxton. She's going to be a representative from the Shot Scope company, and we're going to be talking to her about some of our some of her newest products and some of the things that they're most proud of there at Shot Scope. So we're going to go ahead and join that interview with her. Answer, you see if she'll answer some of our questions for us on what we should expect from the people at Shot Scope. Let's go ahead and join that interview now. How you been? All right, yes, not too bad. We're um, all our golf courses are covered in snow. Yes, so. that's kind of what we where we come in with what we do. I do a lot of golf simulator stuff, so we do a lot of help a lot of people who um, look to you know be able to play more than only four months out of the year when it snows all the time. Yeah, it's not ideal, but I mean the rest of the UK, their courses are actually closed because of COVID. Yeah, but up here in Scotland, they're open. But they're all covered in snow, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know what one you'd rather. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound too fun, right? <laughs> no. All right, so um, so yeah, so I kind of saw that you guys have four products on your websites that you kind of are showcasing right now, and I wanted to kind of ask you, what is your, is that is that kind of your flagship product or the one that you guys are most proud of right now? Is it the laser or the new watch that's coming out for you guys? Um. I wouldn't say we have one. It's probably the V3 and the laser. Okay. Um, the V3 launched in June last year and sold out on launch. Um, so we've just been trying to make them as quick as possible. Yeah. Because every time we get more stock, it sells out. Um, but then we launched the laser just on Monday there. It's been received pretty well. Um, at $200, it's quite a competitive price for the features that it has. Um so we're just excited to see how that'll go. Yeah, good, yeah, good. So what kind of features does it have, like a, a slope option as well when you're shooting the, the target? Yeah, so the um, the main, all your standard features like accuracy, the vibrations are all in there, but it's got a slope. You can turn it on and off to comply with the rules mm -hmm. in tournaments. Um, but the main standout feature is it has red and black optics. It's like a, the display. Okay. Um, and you can switch between the two just at a press of a button. Nice. Um, the red really stands out on every background that I've used it on. Um, when we were building it, I wasn't too keen. I was like, oh, I'm not sure that'll be that good because right. I'd only ever seen black and you're used to seeing the black ones. But then when I used it, I was like, whoa, <laughs> it's yeah. actually really quite bright and easy to see. So. Nice. And that's only really found in like four or five hundred dollar rangefinders. Right, right. We've done a lot of testing on different watches and rangefinders here on the channel too. Mm -hmm. So definitely something. And so, are you able to lock onto any target, or only the flag stick? Um, it's pretty much just any target. Okay, cool. That makes um, it nice and easy. And I, I've kind yeah. of found from experience, I, I enjoy using both on the course. When you know, when I have. My watch on, I'm able to, to kind of figure out shots from like maybe 40, 50 yards away when you don't want to carry your rangefinder with you. So it's kind of yeah. nice to kind of have both options, I think, too. Mm -hmm. From my perspective, I I used to always use a laser. Mm -hmm. And then when I started working for Shot Scope, you started using the watch. Right. And I got used to that and I quite liked it. took the pressure off trying to hit a shot an exact distance. Mm -hmm. Like instead of being, oh, I need to hit this 159 yards. You'd just be like, oh, I can hit it about 150 and it'll be okay just right. to get it on the green. Right. Um, and I like that. It took the pressure off. <laughs> yeah. Plus, it gives you distances to the front and back, you know, so you kind of have yep. a range. And, mm -hmm. All right. How, how much can I make a mistake here and still hit the green? So, yeah, yeah. definitely. And well, cool. the laser, like, you couldn't get a, a hazard if it, you couldn't see it. Yeah. So, um, that's where the watch comes in useful as well. Yeah. So, tell me a little bit more about your watch because I know it's really popular. And when you go on the website, Still says pre-order, so it sounds like you guys have been pretty pretty full with uh, getting orders there for it. Yeah, so it sold out in June, um, and then with COVID and manufacturing, it's been a bit of an issue. But we've been trying ramping it up as much as possible, building a lot for next year. So we're getting a bunch of stock end of February, start of March. Okay. But the watch itself, um, it's about the same size as an Apple Watch. Um, our previous version was a lot bigger. And that was kind of what set it back. A yeah. lot of people didn't want to buy it because it was too big. So V3 is small, lightweight. Um, it comes in four colors. Um, and it, 
you can wear it as an everyday watch as well. Nice. So like some of the guys, they forget to take their watch to the golf course, but if you're wearing it every day, you can just right. go straight there. Not everyone likes that, but um, it's an option. Nice. The, uh, the main thing is the performance tracking on it. So there's a like a sensor in the strap, and you have little tags that go on the end of your club. So it knows you're stood swinging your driver on the first hole. And it marks your point on a GPS map. Okay. You hit your shot, you get down the fairway and you pull out your seven iron. And the watch knows you've hit your seven iron from here. So then it figures out how long your drive was. Okay. And whether you hit the fairway or whether you're in the rough or the bunker, etc. And then after you finish your round, it then you upload to the mobile app. And you can see all your stats on your round, how far you've hit your longest drive, your average distances, and all the standard stats you'd expect. Very nice. And as, um, now the sensors, do they come with the watch or you pay separate for the sensors? No, it's all included. Okay. Um, so you get the watch and 16 tracking tags nice. all included. And there's no subscription either. Oh, wow. Um, that's really nice. We also update our like the watch and the software. Um, as and when we feel it needs it or yeah. users request certain features. Um, we like to keep the customers happy and give them what they're looking for. Right. So the um, since we launched V3, there's been a few relatively major upgrades. Um, one of them being it can give you a last shot counter while you're on the course. So as you're walking to your ball, you can see that going up from like 200 to 250 yards. So oh, you can okay. measure the distance. Um, also, you can pause the round so that if you want to take a few extra chips or hit a few extra shots, mm -hmm. that won't affect your stats or the shot tracking. You can do that. Um, and the other one was on the screen just to show the club that it's recognized. So like when I'm holding a seven iron, it'll show I've got a seven iron in my hand. Oh, um, wow. Just to give the user confidence that their shot's being detected yes. more than anything. And um, are the are the courses preloaded onto the watch, or do you have to download them? Yeah, they're all preloaded. Just over thirty six thousand. Okay. Um, but we also own the course mapping. So if there's for some reason there's maybe not a course there, get in touch with support, and we'll get that up within forty eight hours or any changes like a new bunker or the order of the holes have changed. We can do that pretty quickly as well. Very nice. Very nice. Well, that's exciting. I'm definitely something I want to check out here in the future. You just got to get some product in stock, huh? <laughs> yeah. For, uh, <laughs> middle of February, I think we should get them in so we can get one out oh, for cool. a review. Yeah, definitely. We'd love the opportunity to do that. So, well, good. Um, well, the other big thing we've got coming up, I didn't mention it, was part of the updates. The laser is the new product for this year. That's all that's coming out physical like hardware wise right um but we're focusing on software so we're releasing strokes gained on the mobile app um kind of being a thing that is in golf everywhere at the moment yeah all the tour pros it's all their stats are based against that you see it on the coverage all the time right. so we've had a lot of guys asking for it for a long time but it's taken a while to make because yeah. it's not easy yeah that's so true. We're releasing that on Wednesday, um, but it's going to be a phased approach. Um, phase one will be pretty basic, just your overall tee shots, approaches, short game and putting. Mm -hmm. But for all of our current customers, it'll be backdated. So like, you could look at your strokes gain from 2017 if you wanted to. Wow. You can go quite far back. Um, but then going forward, phase two will be like, more like approach shots broken down by distance, lie type, everything like that. And that'll be spring. And then phase three is June or around June. And it is benchmarking. So different handicaps, like base against a 5, 15, 25 handicap, yeah. which makes it a bit more relevant because up until then, everything will just be against tour. And right. A lot of people know that they're not as good as a tour golfer, so oh. maybe don't need to be told that. But. I certainly know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought I would maybe be all right on some of them, but yeah. I'm losing a lot of shots still. <laughs> yeah. What, what's, uh, what's your handicap, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I play off plus one. Oh, wow. 
Uh, yeah. You're, yeah. Way, you're a way better golfer than me then. <laughs> well, good. Oh, I've not well, played for about five or six months. Um, yeah. So I might be struggling to break 80. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's not bad. I, I've struggled to break 85, so I'm, I'm okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as long as you enjoy it, that's yeah, all Yeah. That that's what it's all about, you know? And that's mm-hmm. kind of what we do on our channel is everyday golfers approach. So, yeah. men are women. Mm-hmm. So, you know, definitely yeah. understand. So it does track your um, does it track your handicap on a regular basis then as you continue to put your scores in? Well, that's just more up to the like the golfer to update. Yeah, it's not doesn't like actively um, say you shoot seventy. It's not going to change your handicap. Okay, it's just you when you make your profile, you put in handicap fifteen, yeah. and then you can change it as and when. Got it. Um, I think with the new world handicap system. Probably much the same for you guys in the States, but for everyone else in the world, it's changed quite a bit. So yeah. we need to get our heads around that first before right. looking at something. Before we start tracking it and figure out where we're at. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, good. Good. Well, it's definitely some exciting stuff that you guys are coming out with. And the software is half the battle. You know, you could have a great watch, but if you're not updating software on this stuff, then people will go elsewhere. So that's a good thing that you guys yeah. are focusing on. Mm-hmm. That. Well, good. Yeah, Definitely. And it's overlooked a lot of the time. People, you don't bring out a physical product. They're like, oh, they've not done anything new. Right. So we're going to try and make a bit of a bit of noise around the updates. Yeah. Plus with firmware updates on the watches, I mean, you can do, or even any any mm-hmm. device, you can update them and, and correct things that need to be fixed, like you said as well. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah, definitely. All right. So some pretty interesting things from Jen there at ShotScope. It was a pleasure meeting with you, Jen. Thank you so much again for the opportunity. And uh, I was late to my meeting because I was on Central Time and we were supposed to be in Eastern Time. And uh, so no excuses for that. I was late. Uh, I did a bad job with that one, but she was very kind to let me interview with her uh, one hour later. So thanks again, Jen. I appreciate that. Look forward to hopefully testing out some of uh, your products down the road and uh, giving some reviews to some of our viewers at home. We really appreciate the time and everything that you spent with us today. If anybody has any questions on any of the ShotScope products, make sure to reach out to me anytime at Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. Looking forward to bringing more videos to you from the PJ Merchandise Show, similar to the one we just did. And as always, until the next time we see you, keep on golfing. Thanks again.